All right, folks, let's talk about Azure AD Connect Health. Now, as you probably know from the previous lesson in this course, Azure AD Connect is very important for hybrid identities. Identities being things like your user accounts. Hybrid being the fact that they are now on both your on-premises Active Directory as well as your cloud Active Directory on Azure. The Azure AD Connect tool is what is used to connect your AD on-premises with your AD on Azure. And it allows objects to synchronize between the two Active Directories. It is very important to monitor the service being the health service. So you can keep an eye on your Azure Active Directory tool. Something you should be aware of is the fact that things will not always be sunshine and rainbows once you've got your Azure AD Connect tool configured. Things will go wrong. This is gonna happen from time to time. Things are going to break, things are going to get corrupt, and sometimes there will be no explanation for that. So it's very important for you or your staff or a fellow colleague to keep an eye on the Azure AD Connect health service. It is a wonderful way for you to know when something is not working or at least not working the way it's supposed to. Okay, so what exactly does the health service do, in case you're wondering? It shows us when the last synchronization took place and also shows us if there were any errors in the last sync run. So if the service is running properly, that should ideally be what you should be able to see. What we are monitoring here is the synchronization of objects in your on-premises Active Directory environment to your Azure Active Directory environment in the cloud. At this point, you might be wondering where you find or view the health service on the Azure portal for the Azure AD Connect tool. Well, I think let's just switch over to the portal and show you guys where you can find this little tool. All right, folks, here we are on the Azure Active Directory. I've already gone to the Azure Active Directory. And if you don't know how to get to Azure Active Directory, you can run a search for it. You can go to the navigation menu here. You can go click on it there. At the end of the day, there's like 20 different ways to go and get the job done. So the point is I'm currently here on the Azure Active Directory. Now in this blade for the Azure Active Directory, you're gonna scroll down. And just like in the previous lesson where we had to go here to Azure AD Connect to go and download the tool, at that point in time, nothing was configured. We're gonna go back in there again because what is this video in this lesson about? It's specifically about the Azure AD Connect and even more specifically about the Azure AD Connect health service or health agent. So we're going to go click on that tab there. Now, previously, you would remember there was nothing going on here. So on the status, it said, well, nothing, 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 because we had nothing set up yet. Now, at the moment, you can see it shows us when the last sync was, if any. At the moment, it shows it was about an hour ago. Uh, what is the sync status? Is the password hash, you know, sync enabled? All kinds of user information that you guys can see here. Now, if you'd like to know more, you know, let's say with regards to errors and things like that, you're probably going to have to go here to the bottom where it says health and analytics. Now, funny thing is, if your synchronization doesn't actually work for some reason, let's say it fails to sync because your server was offline on premises, Maybe you turned it off because you needed to go and replace a RAM chip or whatever the case might be. Now, if it is unable to synchronize for whatever reason, you will receive an email in your main email account. Now, you can go and add additional email accounts, which I'll show you in just a second, but you will see receive an email address and it's gonna tell you that it failed to sync and it's gonna give you some basic information. In that email, it's gonna give you a quick access link to this exact same thing. Obviously, you're going to have to go and log in first just to prove that you are who you say you are. So I'm going to go and click on that just to show you guys what it looks like. Now, here on the left-hand side, there you can find your errors. So if there were any errors, you can see that here. Um, you can go and check your services there as well. So I'm going to go here to errors just to give you guys an indication of what this looks like. We'll show you if you've got duplicates, data mismatch, and so on and so forth. So this is going to allow you to see if there's a problem because you can't fix a problem if you don't know what the problems are. So it's not going to necessarily fix the problem. It's just going to show you what the problem may or may not be. Now, it's not always practical for an engineer or a technician to come in here. You know, it's, sometimes it's time consuming and quite frankly annoying. 
So another way you can go about this is to go and set up notification settings. So I'm going to go in there just to show you what this looks like. You can go and turn this on. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to notify all global administrators. And you can go and add additional email addresses in here. I myself personally find this to be very useful because what if I'm on leave, what if I've resigned, or what if I'm unavailable for whatever reason, there needs to be more than one person, in my opinion, that receives these notifications if something goes wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, if your Active Directory on-premises is not synchronizing with the one in the cloud, especially if this is for a medium to large size organization, this could be very important and it could be catastrophic. So it's very important that more than one global admin knows about this if something goes wrong. So you're going to want to go and set up notifications as well as an extra. That is highly recommended. There's a good chance they will ask you about this in the exam as well. So if anyone is intending to write the AZ-800 exam, 10 to 1, this might be a question. And now you know where to get that. So it's going to be under the Azure AD Connect tool tab. You're going to go to Sync Errors. Once you've gone to sync errors, you're going to go to notification settings, and that is where you'll ultimately go and set that up. Something you folks should be aware of, though, is if you would like to use the Azure AD Connect help, you're going to need an Azure AD premium license. So that's for the agent. So if you're going to install one agent, which is what I did, so if you install it, let's say, on your Active Directory on-premises and you only install it on one Active Directory server on-premises, that's one agent. So if you're going to install only one, you will need one license. And that is not a problem because you can simply just go and buy yourself one license. Where the problem comes in, and yes, there's a problem, is if you'd like to install any additional agents somewhere else, now, why is that a problem, you might ask? Well, because if you'd like to go and install any additional agents, you need to buy 25 licenses. Why? Well, that's the bare minimum you can buy. So besides the very first agent, for any additional agents I would like to install, let's say, besides the first one, I want to go and install two additional agents. So I'm going to have three in total, in other words. I will need to buy 25 extra licenses. Yep, you heard me correctly, 25. Even though I'm just going to use two of those 25 licenses, I need to buy 25 um, Azure AD premium licenses. That's ridiculous, isn't it? So I don't know why. I doubt that's going to be um, a question in the exam. I'm just mentioning that because some of the people watching this video, their intention is not necessarily to go and write the exam. Maybe you're watching this video because your intention is to start setting up Azure AD Connect and you're just checking how you go about it or what the features are. And if that's why you're watching this video, I feel I should mention to you that you need to be aware of the licensing involved. If you're going to install more than one agent, it can get very expensive very quickly. So make sure you look into the licensing aspect. If you have any underlying infrastructure environments, such as domain controllers, you can actually go and view them here under HDTS services, such as sync status, replication issues, and so on and so forth. This is now obviously assuming you've got that AD premium license I spoke of earlier. What a snag that is going to be. Alrighty, folks, and then lastly, you probably know that the Azure AD Connect agent, which gets usually installed on your Active Directory domain services or on your ADDF services, so that's your federation services or your domain services, that little agent tends to go and update itself from time to time. Some companies want that, some companies don't want that. So if you would like to go and configure any settings regarding that little agent that goes and updates itself, you can go and find that here under settings. So if you were to go and click there, you'll find that the default is normally set to on. You'll see here it says use auto update to automatically update your installed Azure Active Directory Connect agent. So that's not the actual tool itself that does the synchronization. That's the agent that keeps an eye on the health of it. So if you would like to go and update that automatically, you can just go and leave it on the default. Um, there's a lot of companies that does not want this thing to update automatically for various reasons. And if you or your company is one of those, you can simply just go and tick this thing to off. All right, folks. So that's pretty much it for the Azure AD Connect health service. So if you've learned something, please give the video a like. It lets me know that you've enjoyed the video or that you've actually learned something. 
And then just for fun, let me know in the comment section down below where you are watching this video from. Which country are you from? Are you from the United States? Are you from the United Kingdom? Which country are you watching this video from? I'm very curious to see where most of my viewers are from. All right, and if you'd like to know when the next lesson comes out, remember to also hit that subscribe button with the notification bell, otherwise you might miss it. And then lastly, folks, just a special shout out and thank you again to the sponsors of this channel. So I've got a few Patreon sponsors and a PayPal sponsor, so a special thank you goes out to those folks. And if you would also like to sponsor this channel so I can continue making free content like this for you guys, you can find that information in the video description down below. All right, guys, see you in the next lesson.